Hi friends, I'm Josh Gaughan. This is Erie Bicycle. This week's episode is about bending steel frames and cold setting, but it's not meant as a how-to. I was able to learn how and see how a master does it. And so if you can get anything out of it, great. But please know that it's not intended to be a how-to. So this is the Roger. The Roger is a steel frame bike that my friend Eric gave me about a year ago. And it was going to be like my second bike build. Single speed, fixed gear. That's what it's going to be. But it sat in the corner because the rear triangle was bent. Something's not right here. The tire's not lining up square. You can see, and I could see beforehand, that there's a little bend right there. And it's super cool. My friend Eric gave it to me because it's made in France. It says up on the top of the seat stay, and here's a shot of way too close. It's blurry. And he knew it was special, and it's nice and crusty, just the way I like him. You, and you can tell by the the the... the formerly chromed lugs that it, it was a, once a beautiful glorious bike and now it's been ridden hard and put away wet so i got to thinking one day bike shop i work saturdays at a bike shop and i've seen the fag1 put in use now we don't discriminate here at erie bicycle the fag1 is the frame alignment gauge so the bike shop has these tools to check frame alignment and I've seen some bending tools and it's not a two by four. So I thought, what well, I wonder if they'd show, if let me use that stuff. So I asked and I went down and I thought, well, I'm going to walk in, you know, set up the shot and I'll come in the front door with the bike. And I came in and I showed John, Adams the the frame and I said hey ever see anything like this and he said looked at the front because the head badge says Roger and that's it there's nothing else about it and I've done some digging and the only thing that I could find suggests that it might be a Roger Riviere or Rivier model made by Jeton and when I handed it to John and he looked at it that's what he said so but I can't find a picture anywhere on the internet to prove it so whatever i took it down i handed it to john he looked at it he thought it was a roger rivier riviere roger and he said oh yeah well get an open stand over there and get set up and so he's the master i'm the learner so i just kind of went with <laughs> went with that uh and I, I i followed his lead so when i set it up in the frame and in, in the stand first thing he did when he looked at it and i said yeah you can you can see it's bent so he got out some string and i know there's an rj the bike guy video about checking it with string um you can do it at home so he got out some string to see if it was bent above the little bolster or whatever the heck that bar is in the top of the seat stays for the for the brake to fit on so he got that out and measured from one side of the seat tube to the string and then the other side of the seat tube to see you know if, if it was bent all the way from the top down and then once he did that he got out uh the fag1 and checked the lower half and then he would i held the front of the frame you know because again i'm i'm the learner he's the master it's, it's, you know, it's his bike shop. So I'm holding it and he's doing the bending. And it's amazing. Just from bending aluminum derailleur hangers, how much just a little bit gets you in the, in the long, you know, a quarter of an inch here is, you know, how much at the other end. But it was really cool to see him bend it back into shape and get it straighten down Dude. so and when he did that 
the cold setting part was bending the dropouts narrower because I have a set of track bike wheels with nowhere to go. So this is the perfect candidate. So I could run it as a fixed gear as intended or single. I've got a freewheel on it now, so I'll probably set it up and run it as a single and then order a cog and the lock ring and then blah, 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 blah. So the cold setting part is when he bent it back into alignment, he also bent the dropouts closer together. I think it's 120 millimeters for a track we, uh, hub. Do you have your axle line? 119. So he bent it for that and it worked a treat. And I picked that up from my Canadian people that I like to watch on the YouTube or Canadian. Ah, sorry. Uh, Presta or Schrader? Yeah, it was really cool. Really cool to do. So I've got it mocked up now. As I took a bunch of parts that were originally meant for this and put them onto the Cobra commuter. So I've got some cr other crusty stuff. I pulled a Schwinn World Tour out of the trash a couple weeks back. The frame, somebody had welded the frame right above the bottom bracket, so it's, ah, but I pulled everything else off of it. So I got some nice crusty brakes uh, to keep the crust, you know, not the brand, but, it, you know, it's, it's crusty. So I'm really excited about it now that it's square and straight. And there's lots of room for big 38s, because I'm really kind of digging the 38s. Da, 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 da. So, what do you think? Uh, brown seat, tan walls, brown grips to go with the ship brown? No, maybe. Bike Shop Dan says gold chain. Because I've got wheels, I've got an all city crank, nice shiny crank. Need some tires. Next time we work on this, I'm going to make a homemade tap to chase the, the bottom bracket threads, by the way. Uh, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. But I'm a little scattered because I've got like six bike projects all in like <laughs> various levels. And there's only one that's like out of sight, out of mind. I'll buy a part, put it with it because it's not here. So I'll buy a part, put it with it, forget about it. And it's not here where I can see it when I'm sitting down here and go, oh, well, I'll take this part off of this and do this and shuffle this around. So it's, it's slow. <laughs> uh, it, it's tough, friends. If you're the praying or thoughts and good uh, vibes type, uh, my friend Ollie that I work with at the shop on Saturdays, young guy, it's nice to work with a young guy that's not all mouth. He busted himself up, busted up his guts, messing around on his BMX bike. Spent some time in the hospital, maybe still there, haven't heard yet. And my friends, uh, Dave and Heidi, over at their YouTube channel, Reimagined Adventures, they just rode from Pittsburgh all the way to DC on the Gap Trail and the c and tow towpath and all that stuff. Super cool. Excited to see what kind of videos they come up with from that. I'm Josh Gone. This is Erie Bicycle. This is the Roger. Thanks for coming by. Thanks so much to John Adams for showing me how to bend the frame and let me come back and show up. Uh, really great bunch of people down there. It's not a commercial. I work there on Saturdays, so there's probably going to be some John Adams cycling content on here. Nobody's getting paid for it. It's just, it, it just works out. You know what I mean? So, thanks so much. Yeah, it's pretty much right there. Okay.